Hey friends, it's John Bobro here, and I wanted to share with you what comes in the developer kit and give a walkthrough, first of the hardware, and then we can go through getting started and the software. So to get started, uh, let me just go ahead and switch the scene here. So uh, I've got our core set of links, which has the first six games, the expansion, which has the next six. I'll just set those aside. Um, and of course, in each of those, these are the games and their sushi roll cases. Um, but what we're going to talk about is the developer kit. So uh, our developer kit uh, is now coming packaged like this. And I'll just hold that up nice and close. Um, and inside of there, I'm just going to go ahead and pull these items out of the way. Uh, so what comes inside of here is... Ah, uh, USB cable, a three-foot USB uh, mini cable, uh, a blank blink, and it's going to have a little uh, protective cover on it that you can just peel away, and the reason for that protective cover is so that uh, the button doesn't get pressed uh, when it's shipped. Um, and on the back of that, it'll just have a blank label for you to write the name of what you're putting on it. The other things that are in the bag is a spudger. Um, spudger kind of looks like a pencil or pen. Um, it's a tool for scraping uh, or opening objects. Uh, in this case, it makes it nice and easy to open the battery on the back. Um, but more importantly, on the bottom of them, on the blank blank, you'll notice that um, it looks a little bit different here than the shipping blinks. So the blinks with games on them, I'll actually just show with Honey. So if I look at Honey, inside of there, there's a little sticker that uh, lets you know which game it knows. The spudger allows you to scrape that sticker up and reveal the exact same programming port on all of the blinks. So we include that as a nice tool to allow you to, if you want, edit some of the existing games or write over your, uh, your commercial blinks. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and set that one here. So that's the spudger. And then there's one more important item in here, which is our programmer. And so uh, there's a red one and a black one. They both work the same, so it doesn't matter which one you get. Um, but this is your programmer. You're going to want to make sure that on here uh, that its power target is set. Um, when we ship them, they're set that way. Uh, you have to be careful with this end of it, which these long golden pins uh, are pogo pins. They are nice and springy. Um, but they can get bent, so you want to be very careful not to uh, bend or break these. And the way this works is that uh, these six pins are going to line up with the six holes here on the bottom of your blank. And you just press down a little bit, um, and that's how you make the connection for programming. it. So let me go ahead and do that. I think... Uh, the other items that come in the developer uh, kit is a nice little reminder to hashtag what you make with made with blinks and a getting started QR code which uh, you can just pull out your phone and in the camera app it'll see this uh, code and it'll take you to uh, our dev starting page the move38.com let's do this um, there we give a step-by-step -step walkthrough and in the following video where I share what the setup looks like on your computer, uh, that's what you get to see here. Um, so now that we've opened up all the items, I'm just going to plug in the USB. And let's go ahead and do that. So plug in the USB cable. Plug that into our programmer. And I've got Arduino open on the desktop and a 
sketch, let me actually bring that up. I should have had that ready right from the get-go. Um, but it doesn't, luckily it doesn't take long to open up. Arduino takes a moment to load. Um, and in Arduino we can uh, write a really basic application. So um, our language is based on Arduino and our hardware is Arduino compatible. Um, so if you're familiar with Arduino, uh, it'll make Blink's programming probably a little bit easier, but even if you're not, um, it's pretty quick to pick up. Um, so I'm just going to open one of the examples. So I'll go ahead and put, uh, how about our button cycle colors example. So I'm going to press the pins down here. I'm going to press upload. And that takes about three to five seconds or so. I think, ah, maybe it's more like eight seconds. Um, but the upload's now done. I can put my battery in, the blank cover back on, and that's our program. So now the button cycles uh, cycles the colors. Um, so this is pretty cool. I have put the application on one blink, um, but now let's say I want it on all these other blinks. And so what I want to show here is that um, with all the blinks you own, when you want to put the program you just wrote onto all of them, this blank now knows this program, and by holding it down until it goes crazy blue, and then introducing it, it's now going to spread that program to each of the other blinks. So you can see now that all the other blinks are receiving that program, and uh, it takes about 10 seconds for them to send all the uh, send over the code, and now when they all wake. Now they all are set to cycle red, green, blue. And so all of these are running that application. So you could do that with as many blinks as you have, and you just need one that you're going to reprogram uh, to know your game. Uh, there's one other thing I wanted to share on this video, which is blanks. Um, our blanks... Uh, you might wonder, why would I want to have a bunch of blanks? Well, blanks are really great for extending gameplay, having a whole bunch of extra blanks for games. But as a developer, uh, the cool thing about blanks is that on all the blanks, you can save your different games that you're making. So instead of having to reprogram this with your computer, um, you can bring six games that you're working on to a game night and break them out and test them, or you can put games that we're working on and open sourcing onto your blanks and play those games. Um, so blanks are really handy. Uh, once again, we put a little cover on there just so that the buttons don't get hit in transit. Um, yeah, and one nice little Easter egg of our blanks is that this sticker on top can be peeled off and actually used um, uh, used on your laptop or wherever you want to uh, show a Blink sticker. So I hope that helps uh, get you started with the uh, Blinks dev tools. And in our next video, I'll share uh, what the programming process looks like. And yeah, uh, definitely reach out to us. Show us what you're making made with Blinks. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, be sure to subscribe down below. And I look forward to sharing much more about Blinks with you soon. Peace.